I'm really excited today to welcome uh, Hannah Waters, admissions counselor with Bridge Valley Community and Technical College. They were fabulous hosts to us uh, when we were back down in Charleston in 2019. Hannah. Thank you so much for having me. My name is Hannah Waters. I'm an admissions counselor on the South Charleston campus of Bridge Valley CTC. Um, so I'm just going to go over some general Bridge Valley information and the benefits of attending a community and technical college. So just some general Bridge Valley information to start out. This is my spiel that I give anyone who comes up to me and says, I don't know anything about Bridge Valley. We have two campuses. Like I said, we have a main campus in South Charleston, and we also have another campus in Montgomery, West Virginia. We are accredited by the North Central Association of the Higher Learning Commission. Um, and we also have program specific accreditation in business, healthcare, and engineering. And what that means um, is essentially that students can transfer their credits to other institutions, uh, whether that be they you know, receive their gen ed credits from us and want to transfer somewhere else, or they want to get their full associate's degree and transfer it over to a four-year program. We offer over 35 degree and certificate programs in high demand careers, and we have degrees that are offered in a large variety of areas. These areas include business and legal studies, general and transfer education, healthcare and human services, and technology and engineering. So what is a community college? I have this question from a lot of students. I didn't know what a community college was when I was graduating high school and moving into the, the area of applying for college. Community college is a school where you can earn your associate degree, which is a two-year degree, or a certification, which can be anywhere from a few weeks all the way up to a year in the career path that you choose. It's a college that is local to you and it allows you to live at home and commute. We don't have dorm rooms, so most of our students commute or they rent in the area or they are non-traditional students who have families and have already settled in the area. Community college is affordable and that's something that I always like to emphasize with students is that it's affordable. We like students to leave with an education and a career having the least amount of debt as possible. We are a college that offers training for high paying jobs in less time. A lot of students don't love the idea of being in a program for four years or six years. That's just not the track that they wanna go down. Um, and so community college works with that. And we offer hands-on learning experiences. So that's a big part of it too. I have a lot of students that come to me and they say, I work really well with my hands. I don't love to sit in a classroom. I have, you know, I, I learn better working hands-on. And we have several programs that we can offer that type of learning with. So the cost of community college, this is one of my big points of interest. I think it's true for any college, but especially with community college. I like to compare the cost of community college versus four-year schools. So Bridge Valley tuition and fees for the two years, or for one year, you're looking at about $5,360. Just to compare with like WVU tuition and fees, you're looking at about eight plus room and board. So there's definitely a difference. And students that come to me and they want to save some money, I always recommend that they consider transferring. It's definitely a good option. And I'm, I feel like students a lot of times aren't aware that that's something that they can do. They're afraid that their credits won't transfer over. Um, and as I had said before, even with getting some of your basic classes out of the way, such as English 101, your basic math courses, psychology, if you want to save some money, say you want to go to WVU, come to us and get those basic classes and then transfer those credits over to WVU just to save some money. So we, we offer classes at $188 per credit hour just for tuition alone, where you're looking at an average of about $4,500 per year for tuition. Um, now, some programs do have special fees, selective admission programs, or cer certain web courses, technology courses do require certain fees just to run those programs, but that's a general overview of tuition. So community college can be a stepping stone, and this is something that I always like to touch on as well, um, because I went to a four-year school and I loved it, but I was not aware of the fact that you could use a two-year school to then transfer over. Uh, so there is an ability to ease into the college experience with student organizations and activities on campus. Um, some students have a, a hard time jumping into the, the dorm life and the college experience immediately, and they want to ease into that a little bit more. And the community and technical college is good for that. It's a little bit slower pace. We do offer smaller classroom sizes. So the benefit of that is that you have one-on-one -on -one time with your teachers. Um, our average class size for program specific classes are about 10 students. 
So that's great. Your, your instructor is going to know your name. They're going to get to know you throughout the semester. You're going to be able to access them very easily. Saving money. I'll touch on this the whole time because it's important. Um, there's also the ability to work and be in school. Uh, some students have families or they have situations where they have to work and they don't have a choice. Um, so we offer on the job training with a lot of our programs and we also offer as much flexibility as possible when we're advising for classes. And there's a diverse learning experience um, because you're in community and technical college, say that you go, you know, from a two year, you, you start with us and transfer over to WVU, you're going to experience a wide variety of student types and you're also going to experience a, a wide variety of faculty and that I think is always incredibly helpful for your education and for your growth as a person. So I'm going to briefly go through the programs at Bridge Valley because like I said, we have over 35, um, but I'll just touch on some of these that way everyone has an idea. As far as business and legal studies goes, um, it's anywhere from healthcare, medical coding to accounting and bookkeeping. Um, we also have our diesel technology and our welding technology under our business sector as well. Both of those are based in Montgomery. We also offer a um, entrepreneurship certification. If you are over the age of 21 and you are interested in brewing operations and making your own craft beer, we offer that as well, which is a fun one. Like I said, you have to be over 21, but that's just kind of a fun little thing. Um, and then there's that general education. We have specific general education in business and elementary education. So you can choose what you wanna focus on as far as classes go. A lot of students will choose these if they want to transfer into a program that we don't offer. So they'll start with us in one of these programs and then transfer over to state or to WVU or to Marshall. And then health studies is a very large part of Bridge Valley. And a lot of these programs are um, selective admission programs. Anything with the asterisk here, you're going to see a selective admission. We have two uh, sonography programs now. We offer emergency medical services, medical assisting, two-year RN program. And we also have a couple of programs that work collaboratively with Carver Career Center, which are respiratory therapy and vet tech. And the way that those work is that uh, students take those general classes with us, such as the math and the English and the psychology, and then they take the program specific classes at Carver um, in hands-on training in the classroom. So this is a list of the selective admission programs. Um, every program is a little bit different. If anyone should ever have any questions about those specific applications, I would be happy to go over it with you, but um, they're similar, but everyone is, is different different and that's true for the Toyota Advanced Manufacturing Technology Program as well. I believe that is our only technology program that has selective admission and then the rest do not have a separate application. And then just to go over the technology and engineering part, we have advanced manufacturing. So that's with our learn and earn program and a lot of students will work with Toyota in an internship for, to I'm sorry, Toyota if they apply for it. And then once they receive that, they will learn and earn and work for Toyota. We also offer several computer maintenance and networking programs. Those are very popular. Those are in high demand careers right now. Three different engineering, civil, electrical, mechanical. And then we also do some process, process technology and instrumentation. All of these are located at our ATC building in South Charleston. Um, another part of the community and technical college aspect that I think is really important student services. This is incredibly important because most students, when you go into college, uh, whether that be you go into a full year or a two year, just aren't aware of what services are available to them. So I always like to go over this briefly. Bridge Valley offers freshman advising center for new students. Um, so when you come into Bridge Valley, you're, you're first put with a freshman advisor that works with you. And then once you continue on in your program, you have program specific advisors. We now offer online orientation. It is a class that you just have to complete, so you're not required to be in a certain place at a certain time. Uh, we offer career aptitude and preparation services. We even offer certain tests, so if students aren't quite sure what they want to go into or they want some specific information about a career path, we can offer that for them. We work with several internships, learn and earn programs, on-site clinical training is incredibly important for a lot of our programs, and we offer for accessibility services. Um, and this is an array of services for students of varying needs. Maybe you just need some help with some note taking during class or uh, you know any type of special help that we can provide, we definitely work to do that. And then we have our student success center. And this is a big 
center that I tell students about whenever they visit and I do tours, the Student Success Center does free placement testing. So say that you don't have an SAT or an ACT score and you want to take classes with us, we can provide an Accuplace or a placement test for free, and we just use that for advising. So that's super helpful. A lot of students are afraid that they'll have to take the ACT or the SAT, and we don't require that for general admission. We offer free tutoring services. Students never know this, and this drives me crazy, but we can set you up to meet with a tutor as frequently as you would like. If it's, you know, a lot of people might not be super strong in math or anatomy and physiology, and they want to work on that, we can definitely get that for free scheduled with you. That way you can just drop into the Student Success Center when it's convenient to you and make sure that you work with a tutor to get where you want to be. Tape testing. Do you want to test out of a class if you feel like you already have that subject covered? And then just walk-in assistance. If you're having a hard time uh, in a certain subject, you may be able to just walk in and, and receive assistance. You can do printing, scanning, use it as a study center. So it's definitely good to know about. Just to go over the documents that are required for admission. If you are coming right out of high school, it's not anything that's super complicated. So you'll want to do your application for admission. And this is available on our website all the time. Uh, you can just go to bridgevalley.edu and we have paper applications, but it's free all the time to apply online as well. We will need a final high school transcript that includes a graduation date. So um, if your high school transcript has your SAT and your ACT scores, feel free to send that in prior to graduation, but we will need one with a graduation date once you have completed schooling and, and it's after May. We'll definitely need that and that's used for your financial aid as well. We also will need transcripts from all prior colleges. So if you're a student that has taken classes at Marshall or State or WVU, WVU Tech, somewhere to earn some credits while you're in high school, we will need a transcript from that to be able to fully admit you. And as I mentioned before, test scores are not required for general admission, uh, but they are used for advising. So we can definitely use them for that. And then they are required in selective admission programs. So I believe that the sonography and the nursing and dental hygiene programs do look at ACT scores as a part of your application. So just to go over the FAFSA briefly. So for the fall 22 term, if you're looking at graduating, you're gonna be filling out the 22-23 aid year. This is required for the West Virginia Invest Grant. And a lot of people ask about this grant. It was just released by the state a couple of years ago. Um, in order to apply for the INVEST grant and be considered for it, you have to fill out your FAFSA first. That's the first step. We also offer separate scholarships. So you can find those scholarships um, at this link provided bridgevalley.awardspring.com. And the deadlines for FAFSA are, you know, for fall awards, you're looking at June 30th. So you want to make sure that you fill out, if you're planning on attending in the fall, you fill out that FAFSA by June 30th and you fill out the FAFSA by November 30th for the spring semester. Um, like I said before, we need those final transcripts to process your financial aid. The financial aid office waits for them. And until we have you fully admitted, we're not, they're not able to see what you're eligible for. I did not know that when I was a student. And so I try to make sure that students are aware of that, that that's usually what holds up your FAFSA application and, and your financial aid is getting those transcripts into us. So to view the West Virginia Invest Grant, you can actually just go to uh, collegeforwestvirginia.com or if you type in westvirginiainvest.org, it will reroute you to that as well. They just recently changed the link to that. So I'm going to go through some reminders and then I will show you all the West Virginia Invest Grant application page if we have time. For admission to Bridge Valley, unless you're applying to a selective admission program, which is a little bit different, make sure to request those transcripts from your high school counselor or anyone else at your high school that can send them over to us. Um, and also from prior colleges, you'll want to make sure that's sent. And then also financial aid. Stay in touch with financial aid. Check your student email. Apply for the West Virginia Invest Grant. So I'm actually going to go over this Bridge Valley page really quickly. If you visit our website at bridgevalley.edu and scroll down, if you would like to tour our campuses from your home and see them virtually, take a look at what they look like, look at the ATC, um, you can click right here, tour our campuses from your home, and it will pull that up for you and you can take a look around. I'm always happy to schedule tours as well if you'd like to come in and visit, but that's a nice option if, you're, if you can't get to campus, but you wanna see what the campus looks like. So if you go to the West Virginia Invest Grant, you'll go to programs, this will drop down. You can click how it works. 
And then it will have a selection of questions for you, which this is really nice. Um, so it goes through these questions that most people have. What colleges are, are participating? You can click find a college. Um, and we are the second one that comes up. So you can find a program if you're interested in specific programs. These are all of the programs that qualify for the West Virginia Invest Grant. As far as I know, unless they changed it recently, um, every program qualifies except for general education. So it's definitely worth applying for, um, even if you end up qualifying for other grants or scholarships and you don't need it. It's, I encourage every student to apply. Once you fill out your FAFSA, make sure that you go up to this apply now button. It's a very simple application. Um, there are some requirements for it. You'll wanna go to the how it works tab and go through all of these, how do I qualify? And there will be a list of that. Um, make sure that it works for you and it's something that you want to do. But like I said, the application is easy. And if we were in person, we'd all clap for you. Hooray, thank you. <laughs> thank you.